In this video, I'm going to explain the different VAT rates in Xero and which one you should be using and when. It can get a little confusing, but it's super important that the VAT rates you use are the correct ones, as these determine the amount of VAT you reclaim and where the figures end up on the actual VAT return itself. I'm going to focus on purchase invoices for this video, but I will do another video about how to correctly produce a sales invoice. Before we get into the VAT rates and what they mean, it's useful to use some sort of invoice capture software. We use Dext, which works seamlessly with Xero, and it is the most accurate and the quickest processing software for extracting information from purchase invoices. We give a Dex license to each of our clients at a hugely discounted rate to make their lives easier and just because we are awesome. So we have three rates of VAT in the UK. We have standard rated 20%, reduced rated 5%, zero rated 0%. There are gonna be other expenses that are either exempt such as rates or outside the scope of VAT, such as wages. There are also reverse charge costs, more on these later. This little table shows the name on zero and the tax rate applicable. So let's look at some examples of which rate you may use and when. If you have a purchase invoice that is showing 20% VAT with a VAT number and it is in your business name, then you would choose 20% VAT on expenses. The same goes for a reduced rated invoice showing VAT at 5%. For example, domestic fuel, you would choose 5% VAT on expenses. For zero rated expenses, the invoice would either clearly show that the VAT is being charged at 0%, for example, books, or you would use this VAT code if the invoice had no VAT as a supplier isn't VAT registered, but it would be a VATable expense if they were. For example, if you were using a window cleaner that wasn't VAT registered. The reason you would use zero rated in this instance is because you want the net amount to show up in box seven of your VAT return. So there's your three main VAT rates and when you would use them. Next, we have exempt expenses, which would be things like insurance. Now there is no VAT applied to these expenses, so you must make sure you choose the right VAT code on zero. Moving on to reverse charge expenses. These do tend to cause some confusion as you're effectively charging yourself VAT and claiming it back. This is because it is the responsibility of the customer, i.e. you, to account for the VAT, not the supplier. The net effect is nil as you claim and repay the same amount of VAT, but they must be included on your VAT return. Confused yet? You will use the reverse charge expenses 20% VAT rate when you are buying services from a supplier outside of the UK. If the place of supply is the UK and you belong in the UK. For example, Google advertising from Google Ireland. Anything that falls outside the scope of the UK VAT system should be coded to no VAT. I know it might sound super complicated, but speak to your accountant if you are unsure. It is so, so important that you get the VAT correct. I hope that's helped to explain the different VAT rates and when you should use them. Any questions, please pop them below and I'll do my best to answer them. 